Hello, I like to present my recent work Hamlet, a hierarchical multimodal attention based human activity recognition algorithm. I am Andy Mofizul Islam, PhD student at the University of Virginia, and my co author, Dr. Tariq Iqbal, assistant professor at the University of Virginia. This work is accepted in International Conference on Intelligent Robots and System, IOS 2020. I found this uh, quote from Aristotle about common sense and the sixth sense is really fascinating. In this quote, the Aristotle states that a shared sense responsible for unifying, distinguishing, and coordinating the five senses, which are sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch, and their deliverance. The essence of this quote is that we as a human need a shared or separate senses, which is helps to, uh, to extract the important features or information from di uh, different five senses. And we, uh, we as a human use these types of multimodal learning in our daily life tasks. Just consider driving a car. We use vision, audio, or task sense, uh, senses to understand the activity or the event surrounding us so that we can appropriately uh, drive the car. And it helps in our daily life tasks also. But the challenge is that when we try to develop a multimodal learning approach for the robots, nowadays the robots has a recess uh, set of sensors like vision, touch, audio, or the physical sensors to understand the environment surrounding the robots. But the challenge is that how we can develop a multimodal learning approaches which can able to extract the important information from different sources to produce a robust feature emitting. So the first challenge is that how we can extract the salient modality specific feature from different modalities. Just like that, for example, consider that um, how we can extract the important features from the vision modalities. And second important challenge is that how we can fuse these multiple sensors modalities features effectively. Just consider that an environment, uh, a low light environment or the, where the vision uh, sensor is occulted. In this environment, the vision based activity recognition approach doesn't work better. So in this types of environment, if we introduce a skeleton or the physical sensors, it, these sensors may provide some complementary features so that we can produce a robust multimodal features for, uh, to identify the activity. In the literature, several approaches uh, has been designed to address the multimodal learning approaches. Let's take a brief overview of some of the approaches. First, the early multimodal fusion. Let's consider that we have a three modalities, RGB, depth, and skeleton. In the early multimodal fusions, these raw modalities features will be combined using the early multimodal fusions approaches and to produce a raw fused features without extracting any feature from each of these modalities separately. And this fused raw feature will be passed through a learning network to produce the fused feature embedding, which will pass through a tax learning network to produce the final activity recognition priority. So these simple approaches simply uh, and easily uh, combine the raw feature from different modalities. But there is a crucial challenge. Each of these modalities may have the feature, uh, unique feature complexity and the characteristics. For example, the RGB and the skeletal modalities have a totally different uh, distribu feature distributions. So we need to extract the modality specific feature. So in the late multimodal fusion approaches, this uh, uh, problem is addressed. So in the late multimodal fusions, each of these modalities will be passed through a modality specific feature encoder to produce a modality specific features. Then this modality specific feature will pass through a tax learning network to produce the modality specific activity recognition probability. Finally, this uh, probability distribution will be fused to, pro uh, to produce the final fused activity recognition probability. So this late multimodal fusion approach can effectively extract the modality specific features and address the issues in the, uh, which was uh, pre present in the early multipolar fusions. But the problem is that in the late multipolar fusions, it doesn't allow the different modalities to interact each other, which is a very crucial to pro uh, produce a complementary multimodal features, which is partially addressed in the inter intermediate multimodal fusion approach. 
So in the intermediate multipolar fusion approach, each of these modalities will be passed through a modality specific feature encoder, but the inter intermediate multipolar fusion approach allows each of these modalities feature encoder to interact each other to produce the multimodal feature encoding, which will then pass through a tax learning network and produce the activity recognition probability. The problem is that these interactions occurs at the very early layers, which may hinder the modality specific features to extract the modality specific feature embedding. So it may not capture the modality specific feature attributes appropriately. So that means in the, uh, these three approaches, that means early, late, and intermediate multimodal fusion approaches have some problems. The main issue is that how we can extract the complementary multimodal feature from the different activities so that different, act, uh, different modalities can able to extract their own, fish, uh, own salient feature and also can interact with each other to pr produce a complementary multimodal features. So we address this issue and propose our proposed approach, Hamlet, a hierarchical multimodal attention approach for the human activity recognition. So in the Hamlet, let's consider that we have a three modalities, RGB, depth, and skeleton. Each of these raw, raw, raw modalities data will be segmented and pass through a special feature encoder to produce the special features attributes for each of these uh, modalities. Then the special feature will pass through a LSTM or recurrent neural network to produce the special, special temporal feature embedding. But the problem is that this special temporal feature encoder cannot able to extract the salient uh, feature for each of this modality. So we introduce a modality specific unimodal attentions which can able to extract the modality specific salient features. So this is our first contribution that we uh, pro uh, propose a modality specific modular approach which can allow each of these modality to extract the, you know, uh, the modality specific salient feature. Then these uh, salient modality specific features will pass through a, a multimodal attention based feature fusion approach. So this is our second contribution and second novel modules which allows each of these modality features embeddings to interact with each other and produce a multimodal feature embedding, which will then pass through a tax learning network and produce the activity recognition priority. Now, let's take a brief look about uh, the pro our proposed approach, multimodal attention-based feature fusion. So in the multimodal attention-based feature fusion approach, the extracted modality specific feature will be combined by, by using a multi-head self-attention approach. So we adopted a query key value style based um, multi-head self-attention approach where each of these modalities will be passed through a query key value network to produce the query key value vector for each of these modalities. So in this self-attention approach, each of these modalities can extract complementary feature from the other modalities. So this uh, this approach, uh, so let's take a simple look. So let's consider that we have a RGB depth, skeleton, and, and sensor modality. So say RGB modalities query the other modalities that what will be the important features from other modalities it can, it can get. So this allows our, uh, this can be done in our proposed approach. So each of these modality query the other modalities about the attentions. So occur in this way, each, uh, the attention score is calculated for each of this modality. Then this attention score is used to attend the each of this multimodal embedding and produce the multimodal feature, attended multimodal feature embedding. Finally, this multi attended multimodal feature embedding either will be fused using a sum or concave based fusion approach and it will produce the final multimodal feature embedding. And these feature embeddings have the complementary multimodal features and this can be used to train the target tax learning network for the human activity recognition algorithm. We conduct experiments on three benchmark multimodal activity recognition data sets. Let's take a quick look. So we conduct uh, experimental study on the UT Kinect data sets which is a multimodal hard uh, human activity recognition data sets. So in this data set, our proposed approach outperformed the previous approaches. And in this, uh, in this uh, network, we only used 
RGB and the skeleton modalities. We also conduct a uh, performance study on the UCSD MIT dataset, which is a assembly uh, automotive assembly tax uh, activity datasets. And here we use the skeleton um, accelerator and also the SMG uh, data. And our app pro proposed approaches, Hamlet, clearly outperforms the previous approaches. And the, in the Hamlet, you can notice that the some based fusion approach works better. But in the EUT Kinect datasets, uh, the concave based approach works better. So our intuition is that when the modalities have the similar features, for example, the skeleton or the inertial sensor data, then the sum based approach works better. We also conduct a study on the UT amp hand datasets where we utilize the skeleton and the RGB modalities and our proposed approach outperformed the previous history of the art works. So here is our findings. Attention based approach helps to improve the performance and when the modalities have the similar features, the sum based fusion works better. Comparatively, the concrete based uh, fusion works, which is work better when the uh, modalities have a different feature attributes. We also wanted to uh, see the impact of attention mechanisms. So when we didn't use any attention approach in the multimodal feature learning frameworks, uh, even uh, not the modality specific attentions, the performance is not that good. But when we introduce the modality specific feature and uh, attentions to extract the uh, salient modality specific features, the performance improves. We also see the uh, per uh, later performance improvement when we use the unimodal and also the multimodal attention to extract the multimodal fe uh, complementary features, which is our proposed Hamlet works, and we show the significant performance improvement. We also see the uh, at impact of attention in the temporal domain. So in the uh, segmented RGB sequence, if we see that the sit down and stand up, our proposed approach can able to attend the segments which can able to uh, cl uh, classify the sit down and stand up at, uh, the types of similar activities. And we also see the similar, uh, similar performance in the uh, segmented skeleton sequence also. And regarding uh, the uh, attending the multimodals embedding, let's consider the pick up and the sit down. These two activities have the similar uh, visual features, but our proposed approach can able to utilize the skeleton modalities and appropriately attend these modalities to extract the features so that it can able to classify the similar activities like the pick up and sit down. So in this work, we propose a hierarchical multimodal attention based multimodal feature learning approach, Hamlet, which able to extract the complementary multimodal feature from the different modalities by using the modality specific attention and also the multimodal attentions. And in the performance analysis shows that the Hamlet perform, uh, shows the superior performance on three multimodal human activity recognition datasets. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any question, you can email me or can ask during the live Q session.